People keep asking me, how do you move a real object using geometry nodes? And the answer is pretty simple, triangle parenting. So in this case, the camera is parented to this triangle and the triangle moves and it just works perfectly. So let's get this set up. So let's add in a new object like a camera and let's add in our triangle, which in this case will be a circle. We'll set the vertices to be three and we'll go and fill in the face using F. Now we can see we have a triangle, so let's parent the camera to the triangle, and that's pretty simple. We just press Ctrl P and set the parenting to vertex triangle mode. Now if we do this and move the triangle in edit mode, we can see that the location and rotation work, but unfortunately the scale doesn't work, so if you need that, uh, you're kind of out of luck. So with this, we can now move this triangle and it'll just work. I also recommend just, you know, moving the camera so that it is facing the right direction. And we can go and scale down the triangle to make it, you know, invisible, but you could always just eliminate it in the render option. So let's go and move this triangle to match, I don't know, some instances, which we have conveniently placed right over here. So let's go and use a transform geometry node. And right here, we can go and move the triangle however we want using this. But in this case, I'm going to use the matrix option. So I'm going to drag our instances into here, then use a sample index node to go and sample the instances transform matrix. And we'll go and put this onto the object. So we'll go and use the instance transform just like that. And we'll go and plug this into here. So, and also remember to set it to relative. And now we can see that this real object, this real camera, is being moved to match a geometry nodes driven object. So we can see that that works out quite well. And also just to verify, we can go and look inside the camera and we can see it is moving around and having a wonderful time. So yep, that's how you go and move real objects using geometry nodes. I hope you like these shorter tutorials. I hope they are useful and I will see you next time. Have a good one.